welcome back to Oleg Nestor Best's channel. And yes, yes, today we're going to have a lesson which everyone's been missing. Uncle Oleg has had some rest. Yeah, the fender is a little bit dented, you must have recognized it. That's the victim that was covered with Technochrome. The best coat can be of any color, grey, green, yellow, it doesn't matter. I just covered it in black, because the fender was painted in all sorts of colors. So, this method is very simple, easy, and... Well, the painting technology itself does not present any difficulty. And it's basically the same as painting any car. In the beginning, before starting your work, you should get a surface ready. Don't worry that it's a little bit uneven. We prepare it by removing any chips. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you one good thing about camouflage, that you cannot see any scratches or chips on the surface. But don't just happily leave all those defects. Whenever possible, you should try and remove them. We sand the element before we get the matte surface, the element which we will then cover with camouflage. We sand it the same way as we would do with the standard paint, sanding it down with 800 grit. Degrease it, after which we start working with paints. And uh, the most interesting thing about it is that you don't have to keep any proportions, you don't have to follow any symmetry at all. That's the good thing about camo. It doesn't have to be symmetric, it is as chaotic as you want it to be. What other things do we need? As I've told you before, we need to sand the fender, and we need a little bit of nature, a little bit of flora of the town or area you live in. So, the area you live in will dictate the type of camouflage you will have, depending on your vegetation. I wanted to get some fern, but to get it, you would need to go far into the forest. I found this plant, the plant can be of any kind be it leaves, grass, straw, whatever you want. And now I will show you the principle itself. I got the fender ready, making its surface black and matte. There is a little bit damage on the fender, but I didn't even try to make it even. We degrease everything and start covering. Now, since we don't have this color in cans, Vadim will get us some paint ready, some sand shades, we'll paint it sand, khaki and, for instance, some lighter green. We put the leaves this way, in fact, it's unnecessary, mine have just dried up. You may just use one and move it every time to a new spot. I will demonstrate this. You may choose any paint of any color, of any shade, whichever suits you. We have some metallic paint, which we will use, but it doesn't have to be metallic. In general, you should use basic colors. The base color, so that it doesn't become glossy, and in the end, you may cover it with matte lacquer. We will not do it, but you may leave it glossy. The pressure is high, but you may decrease it and continue. It has become heavier under the paint, so it doesn't get blown off. And spray it again. You can do it using spray can as well. Alright, take off the lid. 
take off the leaf and see what kind of print it leaves. And go on in the same fashion. That's it, you make one layer and while it's still wet, you put it back on. Don't press it too hard over there. Pay attention to the fact that you will not only notice any chips here, as you can see everything is damaged here, but you can't really see there is a dent. Uncle Olik hammered it, so the chips and cracks are almost eliminated. Not only do you have a nice pattern, in fact if you do it, I would recommend using fern. Fern produces some very nice effects. Fern. We could leave it like that, but we need to protect the surface. That's why we cover this element with matte lacquer. Matte lacquer. Now let it dry. One more, do it for the third time. No, I think it's enough. Here's what we have after the lacquer. The lacquer will take its toll later. When it dries, the mat will become dense. Now it's a little bit glossy, because the lacquer is a little bit wet. And you get a pattern like this. Well, I have fulfilled my promise, it was a little bit inconvenient to do in my garage. Vadim helped me do it. I'd like to give my best regards to the guy who went after me with this camera. You may do some ornaments as well. But this color is a very nice one. It's like a wood pattern. You may do a sand pattern as well, it doesn't matter and it depends on the colors you choose. First, take some element and practice. See what color should be used, what color should prevail and which one should be used on the surface. And you can make camouflage without any problem. It will look great on an old Soviet bike like Ural. You may even paint Goldwing with it, it will also look nice. Uncle Oleg now knows a thing or two about camo. He may paint a helmet, because he's a biker now. A nifty one. So we can paint cars, paint bikes, paint helmets. So once again, stay healthy, of course, and all the best, and lots of dough. That's right.